Northcote Brick, set in the heart of the Cotswolds, was founded in 1925. A family business, it's adjacent to Wellacre Quarry, known for its Jurassic Upper and Lower Lias clay, the main ingredient of every Northcote brick. Each handmade wire-cut brick starts here, getting a blend of the two clays to create the right hardness and frost protection. A short trip to the conveyor belt where it's hand-sorted, then through the mill where it's ground to a fine texture. Large pieces of clay are grogged. Previously fired clay ground up is added to reduce shrinkage and then hand thrown in the centuries old way by master brick workers. Taking just 20 to 30 seconds per brick, they hand work it, roll it and put it into moulds. Anything from traditional bricks to specials like bull noses, angles or cappings. Then it's off to the dryer. 80 degrees Celsius for six days, and then to one of 14 gas and coal-fired kilns. It's the traditional coal-fired techniques and different setting patterns within the kilns that give Northcote bricks their unique colour and characteristics. The kiln is sealed and firing begins. Watched over by staff 24 hours a day, the bricks are fired for seven to eight days at around 940 degrees Celsius. Then they're cooled, and then hand-sorted, graded and blended by experienced staff before being packed, banded and shrink-wrapped, ready for delivery. From quarry to lorry, three weeks. The process for machine-made bricks is a little different. From the quarry, the clay goes to the mill first, where large pieces are broken up and big stones removed by hand. Then it's ground down into pieces a few millimetres in size. Water is added, and then the extrusion machine puts the clay under high pressure, making it compact and dense. A column of clay is extruded, then it goes through the wire cutting machine. Eventually, it's brick sized. Off then to the robot for separation to help the drying process, and then to the dryers. After that, it's the same process as the handmade bricks. Machine-made or handmade, these are bricks of character.